Hey everyone, we're happy to have you back. If you follow us on Instagram, you might recognize the restaurant in today's video. Kimchi and I had a chance a few weeks ago to taste test the food and offer some feedback to the restaurant owners during the soft opening period. Now they are officially open for business. We love the food so much, we decided to return and do a food vlog. Doshia is the name of the restaurant, and Taiwanese food is their specialty. The restaurant is a small bluish green brick rectangle with Taiwanese inspired decor and sick looking red neon signs adorning the walls of the interior. The design of this place is definitely something fresh. Doshia has an interesting menu that has something for everyone. Are you hungry for Taiwanese noodles? They have a bowl of uniquely Taiwanese spiced noodles bathed in a delicious broth, complete with large slices of beef and bok choy. If you're looking for something even more substantial, you can get a Taiwanese spin on the classic Korean Chinese dish Tang Suyuk, aka sweet and sour pork, to our Western viewers. Some of the other dishes include a Mara spiced version of tofu and egg fried rice, fried eggplant, chili shrimp, and other fried nuggets chock full of blended shrimpies. For serious drinks, they have titanic bottles of Taiwanese beer in both the original and mango flavors along with Terra beer for the less adventurous. Doshia also has soft drinks for children, like myself, and highballs for the casual drinker. Kimchi and I are big eaters and always like to try something new. Since the sweet and sour pork, as I'm going to simply call it, was a new addition to the menu since our tasting, we decided to pull the trigger this time around. We also chose the Mara Spice Tofu, or Mapa Dubu and Egg Fried Rice, along with the Taiwanese noodles from last time. I just had water to drink, but Kimchi changed things up with a bottle of the original Taiwan beer that was so large it could get the city of Busan drunk off its contents. No mango flavored beer this time. To tell you a bit about the Taiwanese noodles, they taste incredibly authentic at Doshia. If you've taken a stroll through most parts of Taiwan, you'll likely have the scent of these noodles permanently etched into your brain. The spice blend that is typically used in Taiwanese beef noodle soup consists of a blend of ginger, anise, garlic, bay leaves, coriander, and several other ingredients. It's complicated, but it makes for a potent herbal combination that's seriously unforgettable. From here, the broth is brewed in a witchy fashion with beef, bok choy, scallions, and a healthy wad of noodles. This dish is a must order because it instantly transports you on a much needed mental vacation to Taiwan. This seems to be the dish that has kimchi hooked at Doshia. I must say, this dish is hearty and tasty. The flavors are complex. It offers the full range of flavors that humans are able to conceptualize, minus one, in a single dish. There are large gelatinous cubes of tofu and ground meat in a sweet and sour sauce with a touch of Mara Hellfire. This dish is meant to be greedily consumed by wives along with the egg fried rice. The combination of the two offers the full gamut of flavors and makes for a filling rice-based meal. Sorry guys, your only hope is that your significant other gets full enough to leave you a bite. You can think of this dish as an elevated version of your favorite Chinese takeout sweet and sour pork, if it was served at a Michelin starred restaurant. This particular dish is mega crispy and so citrusy delish that it'll have you searching the dumpsters around back for a syringe you can load up like the sweet and sour sauce junkie we all know we secretly are deep down in the darkness. This is pork fried to perfection with a crispy rice exterior and glazed with a citrus, heavenly sweet and sour glaze. It really doesn't get any better than this. According to Kimchi, this super-sized bottle of Taiwan beer was great. She said it brought back memories of a hot summer's day in Taiwan. To her, the beer was strong and sparkled in her mouth. 
It was a dry lager, which paired well with the fried food and foreign flavors. All I know is that it was quite the big gulp of beer. While Taiwanese bubble tea has gained legendary status among food lovers from around the world, Taiwanese cuisine in general has had a much harder time gaining culinary traction. I'll bet you can't even name two or three classic Taiwanese dishes. Now, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence because honestly, I can't either. Doshia does nothing but good for an underrepresented selection of cuisine from this part of the world and their unique culinary culture. While it might not be the most authentic and is certainly catering to the Korean palate, Doshia has thrown the door wide open for people to begin to experience a taste of Taiwan. Given that Kimchi and I have only heard of a single other Taiwanese restaurant in Busan, we can't wait to see what Taiwanese foods make it to the area next. Well guys, that's it for another video. If you haven't already, consider taking the red pill and subscribe to our channel for more content from Busan. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.